Hey, relax. Hi, Suraj. How are you? I'm fine. What are you doing? I am also fine. Thank you. Yeah. What are you doing? Today, I'm preparing the documents. So why are you printing so much documents? Yeah, actually, this is our regular practice. We are preparing documents. After that, print it, sign it, stamp it, and again scanning it. And sending to customers by email. Okay. But why are you do not using electronic signature method? This yeah. method is really easy and paperless. Okay. Yes. Actually, I am not aware about it. So, can you please guide me? Yes, sure. I will tell you how you can do that. Okay. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that's great. Now, here is the situation, and I am pretty sure you have come across someone sends you an electronic document like legal document, contract, agreement, or lease to sign and send it back. Now, of course, you can print it, sign it, and scan it, send it back via email or any other digital platform. But fortunately, there are much easier ways to get this done. And good thing is, no printing and scanning is necessary. We are going to cover how to quickly sign PDF and other digital documents. And don't worry if you don't have any digital image of your physical signature. I am going to show you how you can create one really fast. First let's clarify one thing right away through. Often the terms electronic and digital signature are mixed up but there are two very different things. A true digital signature is encrypted data to verify the signer's identity by using digital keys. It's online version of notarized signature. In our today's session, we are talking about the more common type of signature that you are going to come across is an electronic signature. An electronic signature is basically an image of your signature that is placed on any document. I am going to cover different ways you can get this done in which you pick the one that works best for you. So today's first option is Adobe Acrobat Reader. This is really simple and free alternative to add an electronic signature to a PDF is to use Adobe's fill and sign feature. You are going to have to install the Adobe Acrobat Reader from the Adobe website. I will share this link for you in a description window. It also comes in a pro version but for now our purpose we just need the free version. So please download the Adobe Acrobat Reader but before download Please uncheck all the checkboxes. Click on download Aerobe Acrobat Reader. So it downloads the exe. As soon as download process completed, click the file for installation. Once you installed it, just open the PDF you want to sign. Up here, you are going to see the sign icon. When you use it for first time, you are going to need to create your signature. To do that, click on sign document and then on add. it's going to give you three options to create it to type it to draw your signature in the field or to upload an image of your signature now i'm just typing my name here with the change style here you can select a different style of handwriting so just go with the one you like when you are done click apply and then click at the place in the pdf where you want to place the signature With the handle, you can resize your signature. You can add initial to your documents too. You must first add the initial, the same way we created the signature. It is the fast and simple way to get this done. So here I put my initials with this handle you can resize your initials now click on next and save as read only copy if you want to save this file on another location then choose a different folder now our second option is office app an easy way to sign a pdf is to use your smartphone all you need in your smartphone is the pre microsoft office app which is available on both platforms like ios and android app you can download it super fast As soon as installation completed, open the app, you will get to the home screen.
click on action on the bottom right corner here. There are plenty of features built in here but for now we are interested in this action called sign a PDF. Now you must locate the PDF that you want to sign. If it is not in your recently opened files, click on the browse in the top right corner. Here you can look your file on OneDrive, SharePoint, Google Drive or on own memory itself. Now you must locate the PDF that you want to sign. If it is not in your recently opened files, click on browse in the top right corner. For example, I want to open my file from attachment, then I simply click on here. So wow. Once you found the document open the PDF by clicking on it, then all you must do is to tap where you want to add a signature. Now the first time you are using this, you must create signature in there. If you want, you can also change the ink color to green or blue from the default black. This is going to save it in the app for you. Then just clicking the document and then insert the signature. You can also drag it to correct place or resize it if you want. When you are done signing, confirm by clicking the check mark in the top left corner. This is going to save your PDF together with your signature. Once that done, you can use the share options down here. So here you can share this file with the concerned person by putting his or her email id here. You can click on more apps and you can send copy of the document just select any app from the share control like for example message mail or teams that's how easy it is to sign a pdf but that's just one of the many tricks and features that's available in the office app if you want to see more then just comment below so i will create more video on the remaining tricks and features available in the office app now today's last option is to create digital image of your physical signature. This way you can insert it into any document you want. We are going to use an app that comes for free with Windows 10 and that is Paint 3D. Now this is not the classic paint that's been part of Windows forever. Paint 3D is available since 2018 and it's merely for designing 3D shapes and models. But the advantage for our purpose is that we can create an electronic signature with a transparent background. This way we can use the signature on my any document even if it's not white. To open it click the windows start button and type paint 3d. Select new to create new document. Then select marker of your choice. It's going to automatically adjust the thickness for you but you can change that if you want. Down here you can select a different color for your signature then just sign your name. You might need a few tries here but once done crop the image. You can use the handles on the sides here to get it right size of your image. Now that's look good but background is still white. We want it to be a transparent. To change that select canvas from the toolbar menu. Here is the canvas. Now just turn the transparent canvas on and now background is gone. Now you are ready to save it. Now when you save your signature as an email, just make sure that you save it as a PNG. This way it's saved with a transparent background and now that's it. Now you have a high quality electronic signature that you can insert into any document. For example, let's say we want to insert it in the word document. Go to insert and insert the image. For example, let's say we want to insert it in the word document. Go to insert and insert the image. Just make sure you update the wrapping so that it fits well in the document. So go to options here and select behind text. Now you can adjust the size and just drag it and drop it wherever you want. I hope this video is going to help you save time and paper when it comes to an electronic signing a document. Now comment below and let me know which version you prefer. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And before you go on to watch the next video, 
and you have realized you are not subscribed to this channel yet consider subscribing thank you for watching if you have any queries please comment below and i will see you in next video thank you